And that's why you guys need to be... Scott. Figures it drops in a month, yes. Junk is uh war stuff. I just got a loot. Uh, just a uh, one. Yeah, I didn't get any tanking stuff, so it depends. Okay, and plants okay, and plants versus plants zombies. Versus zombies. Did you play as the, the zombies much? Nope. I've played one round exactly. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So just the plant. So just the plant defense mode then. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, did you guys recent? Uh, not yet. I'm gonna actually queue up with you as DPS and show you why intelligent DPS is nice to have in a dungeon. I'm already left. I'm ready. So you notice how quick we went through there with me tanking just because I didn't have to stop very often? Yeah. It's kind of a nice side effect of using both flash and overpower, by the way. Let me go do something real quick and then I will kill us up again. You should be 16, right? 17. Uh, go get the quest to unlock Tantara and Copper Bell if you can while I'm doing this. We're 17, they should be showed up.
Where do I unlock them at? Follow your quest line. They should be pretty much back to back, basically. It was gonna take you a while. I'll go do another lead quest on my gladiator and get to 15 on that too. This gladiator will be a lot easier for you to heal. Yeah, doesn't uh, Warrior get a lot of uh, benefits to tanking later though? Yeah, they're genuinely the best tank later. In the beginning though, they just the they're hard to play in the beginning because they really don't have great aggro management and they, fall down they have the issue that most of their really good tanking stuff you don't get until way later whereas gladiators have them already at like almost the first level yeah I was I, like I said I rely on uh, a mixture of overpower and flash so we don't have to see Thing for you, Oda. If you see a monk in your party that's not moving around, yell at them. Why is that? Monks are supposed to rotate uh, around the enemy depending on which combo move they're using. I guess I probably shouldn't be playing monk then. Monk is kind of a really, in the right hands, monks are really good. If you're not going to move around a lot with them, though, they lose, what, 30% of their damage yet? Something like that? Yeah, they lose about 30 Yeah, here you go, Oda. Um, my primary attack is 150% uh, more than my base damage. I crit auto crits if I attack from behind. Um, my second follow-up attack does 150 for, uh, potency of 150 or 180, 190 of attack from behind. Snap punch is 140 or 180 of attack from the side, and twin snakes is 100 or 140 of attack from the side. So, so basically you'll see me dancing from back to front, uh, side to back to side throughout the fight. Huh, interesting. Sounds more like a, almost like a rogue, playing like a rogue. No, not really. Rogue is just stay behind the target. Monk is dance around constantly. Which gets interesting on like Titan fights where you uh, need to keep the rotation up while dodging AoEs on the ground. I think it's the only non-positional melee DPS. Ro yeah, Rogue is non oh. Um, you know what? Actually, let's take a look. Rouge. Rouge action. Uh, goad is really nice, and I wish more people would grab it. Uh, sneak attack is 300 when executed from behind the target. Oh, that's interesting. Sneak attacks shares a time of attack and a switch attack on you, which means it's a level up skill. Um. Oh, they get a si they get a targeted silence. You're kidding, I'm already being sent to Tamaterra Deepcroft. Yep. 
so Yig, two of their attacks are attacked from behind. Wow, I have a wow. That's the, the only two of their abilities are directional. Yeah, they were saying they were trying to back off the directional abilities because, like, I mean, I just. Said I'm Monk's the only one that really does it. Lancer only ha is more positional than. Um, like well, that's what I was about to say. Like, if you. Well, no, Monk is super positional. Yeah. To get Lancer. any fucking use out of it whatsoever, yeah. you're super positional. Lancers are the same way. If you don't see the guy spinning to flank to rear, flank to rear, flank to rear, flank to rear, then the guy's doing way less DPS. That's what Sides to Sides to rear. If you don't see the guy doing that, he's doing like literally probably 30% less DPS than he could be doing. Lancer's not as bad as Monk. The higher you get in Lancer, yeah, the worse it gets. Yeah. The more it gets to the point where it's like... Because I mean, my rotation... My basic standard brain dead, I'm just gonna press buttons rotation... Is... Uh, rear, rear, neutral... Side, side, neutral again... Back to rear, rear, neutral, and that. Back and forth. The whole time. Uh, my rotation on Monk is Touch of Death, Straight Arrow, Straight Shot, and then lead into uh, Rear Side, Rear Side, and then it's, uh, Rear Side, Side, or no, Rear, Rear, uh, shit. So Touch of Death, Straight Shot, uh, any buffs that I need if I'm on that rotation, if I've got the rota uh, previous rotation already rolling. Well, and... Monk is different because Monk's not a rotation; it's a priority system. Because you want to have uh, you want to have twin snakes. Yeah, twin snakes, and there, 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 there's one other that you get later on that you want to have up constant at well, any at any cost. So it's like you skip whatever's in your rotation to get back to getting those up. Well, and then I've also got street shot mixed in there, which is the archer one that gives you crit for 30 seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, that's absolutely fucking amazing. I was using the the uh, the perfect dodge off of I think the the archer. Uh, the oh, oh, is it rogue? I was using their their like first level one. I was using that at, on my tank because the healers are so bad at those levels. Uh, the rogue, the archer early level is raging strikes, which is twenty percent damage. Uh, every single caster should have that on, always. I never was sure if that worked on heals or not. Yes, uh, no, it doesn't work on heals, but when you get the ability to switch into, um, what is it, the two stances, basically like DPS mode, cleric mode, and regular mode, when you get to that point, you basically hang out in cleric mode, and you're doing like 50% extra damage when you're doing it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It ends up putting the white mage as the second highest DPS in the game, right behind the Thermitage. Yeah, but it does kind of crowd. After you lose it, they're still doing decent damage, but I, Monk and Lancer are more consistent damage, which is kind of nice. You know, I'm kind of wondering if uh, Venomous Bite's worth slapping on with a one side uh, Fracture. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure on that one, but I know Fracture. I mean, that's another one of those. It should always be up sort of thing. Um, on Monk, just because my rotation was already getting kind of bloated, I'd use to take Fracture off, but I would usually mix in... Well, that's what I was saying. Monk, you can't use a rotation. You have to use a priority system. Do you remember the old uh, uh, WoW uh, Blood Knights? How if you went down the blood path, you didn't have a rotation. You just had a priority system. This above all else, then this, then this, then this, then this. And it kind of goes that way. I never got Blood Knight very far. I enjoy, or uh, Death Knight very far. I did enjoy taking them apart systematically with my rogue, and I got heat mail from one death knight one time after an arena match. Um, poor guy was the 
melee specific one. He wasn't Frost, which is his first mistake uh, at the time. But, uh... I started the fight out, you know, with the usual rogue rotation and shut me down for about 15 seconds. And followed it up with evasion, then followed evasion up with disarming him, then followed that up with premeditation and dropping, uh... And a vanish and starting the rotation all over again. Well, the hardest thing to deal with was, you know, if if they knew how to do their proper, if they knew how, if they knew what buffs to keep up against what classes, it makes it really easy. He wasn't allowed to fight me for about a minute and a half straight, and because I was assassination, I was, uh, I was ignoring his armor for ninety percent of the days. I outgeared him, I outplayed him, and uh, I, I would feel bad, but he sent me hate mail, and that was for, uh, that always made me laugh. Hey. Nope. There is no goddamn good reason to ever use a sniper rifle in Warframe. Uh, I use the Vectus just because I like the style. But the Vectus doesn't have zoom on it, so... Oh yeah, it does. I'm using that right now. It's got like a .5 zoom. You know you can make it shoot faster, right? Speed trigger? No. First of all, it's Oh, it's the reload mod on this one, isn't it? It is, but as soon as you pull the trigger, hit the reload button. Try it out, you'll see it triples your rate of fire without any mods on it from the get-go. Um, on which one? Connectus. Doing what now? Fire it and immediately hit the reload button. Don't wait for the animation. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. That's actually why I potatoed it, because it actually hits pretty hard when you start doing that. Like, literally <laughs> as soon as you hear the sound, hit the reload button. Decroft is unlocked. Alright, give me a few minutes, um, I'm just doing... Sure. Yeah, that deck is one of my favorite weapons just because of the aesthetic behind it. Bolt actions are always fun to play with. So what does the little sprig next to my head mean? New player? New player, yeah. You can turn it off, but I don't remember how. I think you gotta go into the one of the menus where you set all your options. It's not necessarily a bad thing because a lot of players in this game will actually treat you pretty well for having that. Yeah, I've, I've seen people, I've done it. I, I know, know tons of people who just like handed people a pile of fucking gel and some good, lead, you know, some good gear and said, hey, here, go get fucking crazy. I'm going to leave the party real quick to do these because apparently it's not letting me initiate them for some reason. Let me do it earlier, but not now. The good news is, is this will put my gladiator up. I think the biggest thing that helps a gladiator is the shield. That, that little bit of extra armor and damage mitigation kind of makes a difference between the early game. Yeah, but yeah, what do you think of the uh, Vectus once you get it shooting like three times faster? Yeah, I have to... Well, I've been loving on that one right now. I just... There are two... There's not a lot of stuff that you fight that far, far away. That's... Uh, the only reason I kept the Vectus is because it doesn't have much of a zoom on it. And you can actually use it pretty quick once you figure out that it's kind of buggy. Um, I've also got... Or no, I don't have that mod. The mod that the first shot in the chamber does extra damage for sniper rifles... Works